Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today we say hi from another destination. We are in Nagano Prefecture. I have already been to Nagano in a series of videos which you can see here on my channel, but today we say hi for the first time from Hakuba. Uh, this is a small town as you will see from the videos. We are in the heart of the Japanese Northern Alps. Um, Hakuba is actually a small village, but it's very famous in Japan and also internationally. We are, as I said, on the Japanese Alps and this town was the host of the 1998 Nagano Winter Olympics. So as you can understand, we are in a mountain location very famous for uh, ski resorts. It's uh, a month in August now, so it's summer, but Hakuba is also very famous for hiking activity, trekking, anything related to mountain and nature. So if you are interested in uh, nature hiking, this is the video for you. Uh, we will explore uh, Hakuba, which has many, many things to offer. Uh, and it's very interesting because also for geographical lovers like me, uh, we are in Nagano, but we are very close to Toyama Prefecture, to the west, Niigata. So it's quite interesting. Stay with me and uh, uh, we will explore this destination a little bit further. Welcome again and uh, welcome to the first destination of this video for today. We are walking on a bridge just outside of Akuba. This is called Akuba Hoashi, Akuba Bridge. And the road, uh, which you can see next to me, has been named as one of the 100 best roads of Japan. What is the reason? Well, I think it's connected to the view that we have here. In fact, Behind me, you can see the wonderful waters of the Matsukawa, the Matsu River, reflecting the sun behind the northern Japanese Alps. In particular, behind me, we have the so-called Shirouma Sanzan. It's uh, three amazing peaks, uh, almost 3,000 meters tall. As you can see from my background, I'm really happy because we were here just a few minutes ago and uh, it was not possible to see the peaks, but now the clouds have disappeared uh, or are disappearing and it's possible to see some of the peaks and it's honestly one of the best views that I've had in my, in my life. So I hope that the video can give you some of this idea.
good morning and welcome to the second day we were lucky because this morning we started early and uh, we also have a nice sunny day at least at the base of the mountain we are working from our hotel it's just a few hundred meters to get to the gondola which is the ski lift basically that will take us up to the mountain and we will try to explore if there is something at the top hoping that the weather will be good let's see and i'll catch up with you in the next part of the video Hello, we say hi from inside the gondola. So we are climbing on this cabin, which will take us, as you can see, to one station. Then we will climb up to two more lift. We will use two more lift and we will try to hike on top of the lake. So I'll see you later and I'll say goodbye with this wonderful view of Hakuba. So after taking the gondola and one more lift, we are on our last lift, um, going to the next station and from there we will start hiking. The last station will bring us to 1830 meters. It's quite amazing, but what is amazing is our surroundings. If you can see, our surroundings have already changed completely because the nature, the plants, the weather are totally different. It almost looks to be in a completely different environment and this is amazing i like the fact that the weather is constantly changing so we have sun uh, but we have a little bit of a fog of mist so this is amazing and let's wrap up and see each other after Hello, so after uh, climbing we arrived to the next point 
all of our destination for uh, today. Before talking about the pond behind me, I wanted to give you an um, explanation of why a pond is called like this. Basically, from that mountain, over eight ridge lines spread. So this is why in Japanese, hapone would mean something close to um, over eight ridge lines, right? Uh, but coming back to the point behind me, this one is called Hapo Ike or Hapo Pond. This pond is an elevation of 2060 meters, so we are very high. But the reason why it's particularly famous is that in good weather conditions, it is possible to see the reflections of the uh, Japanese Alps, of some of the uh, highest peaks of the Japanese Alps over the pond. Today we do not have the best uh, conditions because this is of course the mountain so it's very rare. In a clear day it would look something like this. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. But we are still surrounded by a quite unique atmosphere. Sometimes there is a mist. This also uh, gives the, the pond an interesting atmosphere. So it's also nice to be there and breathe the fresh mountain air and enjoy just the, the beauty of the nature around us. We arrived at the last point of our hike for uh, today. Uh, we are above 2,300 meters of elevation and uh, behind me is what is called Ogi Seke, which means Ogi Gorge. Uh, and behind me you can actually see some snow. We are in August. This is quite amazing. Although it's very, very limited and reduced, the snow that's left, Imagine that there is snow that has practically survived for months uh, without snow. So this is the result of snow that has been accumulating all over the months. Um, and this is really mind-blowing if you think about that. If we kept going that way, uh, that would lead us uh, to the summit of Karamatsu Dake. But we are going to grab a lunch and go back. So. For now, we're just going to enjoy this marvel of nature and see you tomorrow for the last part of the video.
Hello, we have come to the conclusion of our video and our stay in Hakuba. Today it's uh, a little bit rainy, but we uh, consider ourselves extremely lucky because the past two days have been great and we have had almost no rain, allowing us to fully explore Hakuba and the mountain. What to say is just to wrap up. I really recommend Hakuba for those who love nature, not only skiing, but also hiking adventure. Uh, we, especially on the, the, our day on the mountain, was really nice and we were able to experience so many uh, different environments and types of uh, flora and fauna. So we will go back to Tokyo and I hope to come back to Akuba in a different season, maybe winter season, that would be great. But for now, I'll just say goodbye and I'll see you in the next adventure.